Bruce Willis is here. Jerome. Bruce Willis. Here's Bruce Willis. Friend. Football friend. Will your friend, the footballer, be there. Ah, oh, friend, football friend. Oh, best friends forever and ever. Oh, friend. Fuck off, all right. He's not my friend. Okay, okay, I'll tell you where he is. Actually, you don't need to do that. I mean, yeah, I beat you in a Pokemon battle, but it's not like the protagonist was threatening you at all. Here, take this basement key. Why the fuck did you give me a basement key? You're like twice my size. You could just punch me in the face and I'd be down. But you've got a legendary dog. They don't want to mess with Rocky. It, that is true. They probably don't want to mess Okay, but gameplay story segregation aside... <laughs> Cause like if we actually had normal Pokemon, like basement what would key? Well, yes, actually. <laughs> basement key, basement key. It's used in the basement. Okay, so and since it's... we have the basement key, the rational thing we're gonna do is completely ignore going into the basement and go heal up. The thing that we need to go to, the thing we need to do is completely ignore the basement and in fact just go to the final gym already. <laughs> What, what do you think Claire's team is going to be? What do you think that Kingdra is going to become? I really hope it's Mewtwo. See, now the problem is, I keep wanting to say Burmy. Like, that's just the thing that comes to mind constantly. <laughs> you want but then I go, useless. we're not playing Gen 4 yet. You, you just want it to be something useless, but it's not here yet. No, because, like, like, like Burmy is always the first thing that comes to mind whenever I was just like, what's the randomizer? Oh, it's going to be a Burmy? Uh, well, it's still <laughs> one of my favorite moments from a Pokemon randomizer let's play was uh, Nate Wants to Battle's uh, Black 2 randomizer. He catches a Latios. All right, cool. Wait, you brought Let's this up last trainer. session, actually. You brought this up last session, actually. Oh. Uh, I remember this I want to hear it, though. You were there but, for the but, last session, Jacob. I don't remember the Latios. I don't know. I don't remember the Latios. I just want to point uh, out he also brought this up in session 7. Yeah, that is true. Oh. <laughs> Okay, basement key. Oh, hello, uh, Rocket. So oh. this will be this will be the third time that he sold this. It's Boris. Hold it. I saw you, so I Boris, the tennis player. I don't need you underfoot while I take care of Team Rocket. Wait a second. You beat me before, didn't you? That was just a fluke. But I repay my debts. All right, Boris, bring it on. Oh, you're gonna pay me back for all the for all the the pain and misery in my therapy? No, no, I still owe you five bucks. Remember? Oh, right, when we went to Subway. Yeah. Oh! Subways exist in this world? He's bringing out the big guns to start out. He's brought you Electabuzz don't know if they in. Don't. So is all. So I forget. Is his Pokemon the same, but he just adds a new Pokemon every time? No, his or team is it keeps getting randomized. Always... Okay. I was trying to remember what it was. Um, what was the thing? But his starter stays the same, right? Possibly? I know his starter was a Pidgeotto. So it might be a Pidgeot. It might be. At this point. Or he might not even have it anymore. It might be like Gary's Raticate, and we ended up killing it. Oops. Oops. I mean, if... If it died, that's kind of like Gary's fault. Because you don't, you know, battle Please, to right the death. Alright, 501 experience Hi points for Destroyer of Worlds. 501 more experience points for Destroyer of Worlds after I learned Thrash. That type of theory was always one of the dumber ones. It's just like I hate that theory. It's just like Gary lost his Radicate because you killed him, and when he's mourning over a grave, that's Radicate's grave, and he's gonna make your Pokemon die just like you made his Radicate die. That's Ooh, so scary. I, okay, now we have I hate seal. that theory because yeah, it's obvious he got rid of it because it's a gosh dang Radicate, and uh they're weak. I'm gonna be honest, it's Boris, you kind of stepped up your team. This is not bad so far. What, once you had I mean, Seal that's, and I mean, I mean, that Seal's seal. not a Dugong, but it's still a decent team-up. It's decent. Yeah, but he hasn't reached a level. Dugong does come up to level 30, It's not a Caterpie. Uh-oh. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Aurora Beam! Okay, no, that didn't hurt at all. Never mind. Weak! Just did, like, 27 HP. <laughs> Eat grass.
Actually, not even. It did 17. 27 would make it, would have brought it down to 73. <laughs> Pidgeot. Okay, he did actually evolve it. Holy shit. Boris actually got shit done. God damn. It's almost like your rival actually has a decent team this time. Wait, does, does Pidgeotto actually evolve into Pidgeot at level 32? I'll check. Because it might be like a Hydreigon situation when gets this, where it's just like, that Pokemon doesn't evolve for another 10 levels. Fuck you, I have it anyway. <laughs> that means you intentionally use the missing Noglitch to level it up to 250, and then caused it to revert back to level 0. 255. 36. Okay, yep, that Pidgeot's bullshit. It was a fake. It was just a Pidgeotto with more hair attached to it than duct tape. <laughs> He's a fraud! <laughs> Gates. Bars locked up. Locked up, but won't let me out. You know, What's the next Pokemon? Fortress. Fortress. Well, it's gonna explode. Yeah, it's probably gonna explode. Because remember, we learned, <laughs> we learned, <laughs> session seven, that its first move out the gate is self destruct. I'm going to Stark. Stark's made of steel. He can survive explosions. No, he can't. Good Shut luck. Up. Shut up and so let me dream. He could survive self. Oh. He could survive self destruct. Oh, we're playing this game. It's still binding. It's time. Fuck you! I'm gonna go faster than you. I'm gonna go faster than you've ever believed. It's done enough binding. <laughs> I point out one of my favorite mispronunciations. Mm -hmm. Well, there's one right there, but. <laughs> 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 One of my favorite, like, mispronunciations from, um, Pokemon Stadium. Oh, it's Eekins! Yep. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, wow, how did you get every other Pokemon's name but Ekans? <laughs> it's just Snake backwards. I can understand, like, like... I gotta understand if you messed up Gyarados, because, like, that has so many different letters that it's not actually what it's, what, actually how you pronounce it. But it's Ekans. It's literally how it's spelled. Okay, so far... Ek okay, Kins. Fortress has used three different moves so far, and none of them are Explosion. What, what gives? Takedown! So he has Takedown, Bind, and what else? And Rapid Spin. Rapid Spin. I swear to God, if he doesn't even have explosion, I'm gonna be so annoyed. Cause that means I just wasted time. I, I would laugh if he's just like, if it's just like, you hit, you hit him with fly, and then he does explosion. It's just like he waited for you to get down so you wouldn't explode alone. <laughs> if I go down, I'm taking you with me. You fool! What, what I'm the fastest this? thing alive. Ow! He's the fastest yeah. thing alive. <laughs> I am actually legitimately curious what his last move is. I don't think we're gonna find out. I think I'm gonna kill him, actually. You'll never know! Um, it's a mystery. It's Future me, play that song in the background. Oh, there it is! There yep, it is! Yep. You missed! Sucker. Okay, there it is on one reason, health! I don't have a screen share, so... Does it self-destruct work in in Pokemon Stadium? He's got a Pharaoh. He's got That's two decent. bird Pokemon. Interesting choice. Also, Saka Sakamoto would love to make another 2D Metroid as long as fan support is there. Translation: Buy Samus Returns. Buy yep. Samus Returns so that you get your so you get your Metroid Six. Twelve. It's Fusion Five or Four. Metroid Fusion is. So, Metroid 5. Also, you know how people kept saying, Oh, the Tri Games no longer canon because Nintendo's Dama. They never actually said that. It's not that they're not canon. They just take place before everything else happened. Isn't that why it's called Prime? Yeah, people don't realize that. <laughs> people are kind of dumb. They jump to conclusions really fast. So, why is your franchise's fan base so retarded? 
I don't know. I just want them to love games, but they keep attacking everything I love. Yeah, I just want to love games, but the rest of the fan base goes, Samus isn't on screen, so it's terrible. I don't understand. Is this what Lance Guy is this is what La Lance Guy said with true? Is what that Lance Guy said true? That I don't treat I don't Pokemon, treat properly? Pokemon properly. Love. Trust. Are they really what I lack? Are they keeping me from yes. I Yes. I just don't understand. But it's not going to end here. Not now. Not because of this. I won't give up my dream of becoming the world's best Pokemon trainer. You do that, Boris. You do you. That was your goal? Apparently. <laughs> I thought you wanted to take down Team Rocket. What happened to that? Well, he already lost, so he's thinking, fuck it, I got a new goal. Okay, Patrick, you're going up front. Also, I think we're one more level until Destroyer evolves into a Pupitar. I really love that. It's just like, is is what I'm really lacking compassion towards my Pokemon? Huh, well, you know, maybe if you don't, like, kick them in the face and, like, actually heal them, maybe they do more. <laughs> And oh, look, a just, uh, <laughs> just, just putting that out there. So so far, Boris actually made a pretty decent team. I wonder if that's a good thing or a bad sign for the future for Claire. Is that what I say? I would love team. it. It's just like Victory Road, and that team's completely gone. Oh. <laughs> He's like, what happened? You were doing good. Everyone died. Okay. What's this thing? It's labeled switch number one. It's off. Turn it on? Yes. Okay, that works. I'll turn on my switch. Ooh, there's an item. Oh, wait, I don't have one. Max Elixir! <laughs> this is where I'd put my switch. If yeah, I, thought I had switch. one! Yeah, get, get, yeah I, I, I'm looking forward to just a few days later. Uh, when, when weekend doesn't count towards the day count because business days. Meanwhile, I'm just like, hey, I'll buy a Switch next year when all the games I won are a little bit cheaper. Oh shit, that's a Venus. Yeah. I might buy one next year when the games I actually want want for it are actually out. This so just so so just Fire Emblem. <laughs> Cause that's all you like on it, and SMT, whatever that one's gonna be. Exactly. See. You don't know when that's coming out. Eventually. And Eventually. Project Octopath Traveler, whatever the fuck that is. Yeah. It's brave, Bravely Default without being Bravely Default. <laughs> uh, plot twist, it's actually Bravely Third. Gross. It's actually the new Saga game, just made by the Bravely game. <laughs> the it's actually Bra a Saga Bravely crossover. <laughs> and Knuckles. Oh, dude, you know how much I want that. And I Knuckles. want Saga to come back so bad. <laughs> Good lord, I need that. <laughs> Uh, Saga Frontier is one of the best PS1 games. Hello, Hoot I wish Hoot. more people bought. Flame Wheel. Hoot Hoot's always been a fun Pokemon. I don't know. It's I, simple. It's kind of weird to me how, how Noctowl is a special defensive Pokemon. It just kind of threw me off. Well, it's like Psychic, so I, I understand that. It's and the it's the only, whole, like. It's also the only Pokemon whole, Ash has ever caught that's shiny. The, the whole thing about, like, how owls are, like, more sensory. Um, Perceptive, so they turn that, and then they said, "Oh, they got psychic powers." Except it's also not a psychic type. Well, it learns psychic moves, but yeah. Yeah. That's, that, that, that's well, Zato. That's when Pokemon can use certain moves, but they're not that specific type. Zato is based off a totem pole. Exactly, but it's a psychic bird. You don't want to introduce two psychic birds in the same region, especially considering Lugi is also psychic flying. I would like to point out Destroyer that we've had the same. I would like to point out that we've had the same three bug flying types every generation. It's true. <laughs> but that's an important thing because you have different bugs in different. Is it? Countries. No, it's not, Jacob. Because the bug flying type no one uses after the first gym, maybe second. I use it. I, I mean, I, I use my though, uh, butter. I used my butterfree a good bit in Alpha Sapphire. I used the Vespaquin once, but that's because Gen 4 actually made things, like, cool. Plus, Vespaquin <laughs> And is, youthful. Plus, Vespaquin is useful. And it also way fucking harder to get. Yeah. Like, I wanted to use Vespaquin when I played through Platinum, but I couldn't, because I could never but, find yeah, for, a female. For Alpha movie. Sapphire, uh, for, for me with Alpha Sapphire, Butterfree's status effects just turned out to be pretty useful.
I don't, like... I don't think I've ever played through a Pokemon game where I've ever used, like, status ailments in battle. Like, status ailments is something that I do when I was trying to catch legendaries more effectively. It's never been something I use as a battle tactic. Unless I'm in the Elite Four or trying to catch legendaries, it never comes to mind. It comes to mind for me, usually is like a fourth the person, slot. You're also the one person I know that actually uses X items. That like was one! Okay, I, I would like to point out, I only use them if I really need to, like... Emerald. You're also the same knucklehead and... who uses a Dunsparce for hard gold, soul, silver. What's wrong with that? Dunsparce is a horrible Pokemon. It were Kingdra. Oh shit. This is a problem. Oh wait, no, it's level 24. No problem. <laughs> this is a problem. Oh wait, I'm fighting a Team Rocket. It's not a problem. Water gun. They okay. crates kill. It doesn't know okay. Dragon Rage, so we're safe. Are you sure it doesn't know Dragon Rage? What if it do Dragon Breath? Oh, never mind. Never freaking mind. Bubble. <laughs> I've also always yeah, wanted to use a, a horse. King... I really want to use a This is a horse in dragon's clothing. I really wanted to use a dragon, a Kingdra at one point, but I have no idea how I would do that. Uh, you catch a horsey, and then you evolve it into a Seedra, and then you have to trade it with while it's holding a dragon skill. I mean, during an LP, how would I? How the hell would I use a Kingdra? Uh, you can't exactly. unless you're do unless it's like this game where you don't need that sort of thing. I want to point out I also made it so that happens to my platinum uh, file. Excellent. So now, so now I can get all sorts of Pokemon. And I don't need to worry about trading. Excellent. That means I can get po I that means I can get Porygon Z if I really wanted it. <laughs> the almighty Porygon Z. Best anime. To be fair, I, I I actually really love Porygon Z as a Pokemon. It's just so annoying to try and get. Hey, Porygon Z hits like a fucking truck. You can just give it Tri Attack and go nuts. Tri Attack, Thunderbolt, Flamethrower. I was gonna and I was gonna speed. say Hyper, but no. Uh, yeah. I mean, everything works as well. I love bur I love the burglar's old design because they had the stupid Japanese like melon sh like shaped um yep. <laughs> like burglary bag. Oh, it's a f oh my god! I found a fan ping. I'm gonna drown it. Jeez! Well, this is why I will Holy never use flash. a fan. I will never use a fan ping because god damn it, a five percent encounter rate is not worth it. Real five percent? Really five percent? Five percent. So I would like to point out Where that though? I would like to point out that Vanillite is a five percent encounter rate in Sun and Moon, and it has to be hailing. Gudra can only evolve while it's raining. You can't make it rain though. I mean, at least with that, it's just like run through this area once or twice, and then it's if, if it's raining, hey, go, go do that now. Just but with Sun and Moon, it's just like, hey, fight this one Pokemon, have them call for backup. But also make sure that it's hailing. Yeah, honestly, they really, really poorly handled that, the whole calling for backup thing to find other Pokemon. It's really annoying. Like, it's also well, funny when they are calling their predators. Or when that's you run into funny. A horde like, of, when you run into a horde battle that's a Zangus and some Survipers and they start fighting each other. That's yeah, cool. exactly. Like, that was so handled far. well. Finding other Pokemon, on the other hand, was. Actually, Bad. Actually, no. You you want to know what would suck? <clears throat> finding finding wild Pokemon that are rivals to each other and one of them shiny. Actually, I think that I've got a picture of like a shiny, a, somewhere of a picture of someone finding a shiny Survivor whilst there are four Zangus. Oh my God, that must have been like the biggest f u that I've heard since Chugga Condor's friend who found a shiny Graveler that knew, that exploded on the first turn, and then he found another there... one right after that also used explosion. <laughs> Wasn't the, was the, I forget, there was that Tumblr post of somebody who found like five shiny Pokemons oh, at once. Shine, five shiny Mareep. Five Wait, shiny that... Mareep, and then someone went and said, you could have won the Maryland lottery multiple Seven. times. <laughs> Seven times. And the chances that it would take for this to happen again. <laughs> mm -hmm. Meanwhile, I just go, hey, I don't 
really care that much about shiny because they don't increase your stats like they did in Gen Two. So they did. Yeah, in Gen Two, you, uh, shiny Pokemon had better stats. Yeah. They than, did. Like, yep. Yeah. They had above average. But stats. then they, but then they took that out. That was and a now good shiny thing. Po- and now shiny Pokemon are just there. I kind of like that to be honest. Yeah, fair, and like really when I, the only time I go after shiny Pokemon is if I really love a Pokemon and I go, I want a shiny version of this Pokemon. Something that I've been trying to do, I've been trying to find a shiny... I just want to encounter a shiny Pokemon and catch it at some point. Wait, you've never caught a shiny? I've never encountered a shiny. Oh my god, he's worse than Ted. Um, to be found, Ted got shiny what Pokemon Uranus. games have you played Ted, Ted got a shiny after Don fourth fan. gen? That's his only other shiny. I, 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 I own Diamond, Black, Black 2, X, Sun, Alpha Sapphire. Oh my god, you've learned mostly games in which the chance was ha- doubled. And he still hasn't found one. I my first shiny was a Wobbuffet and Fire Red. My first shiny was a Red Geo, dude. My first shiny was a Hootoot before you could catch Pokeballs. Oh, oh that, that sucks. sucks. What sucks is that I've seen that happen to people before. Multiple times. My second shiny was a Krabby, but that was like a week before the internal battery on Crystal ran dry. Aww. See, this is what I'm saying, Jacob. Your luck is depressing. (laughs) For some reason, I have all the luck. Jacob doesn't. I encountered two Pokemon in um, X, five minutes apart from each other that were shiny. So John, so so Kyle, you're you're a meal, <laughs> and Jacob is John. Well, then who's Tim? Who's what does that make me? Who's NCS though? Uh, Triforce, you're Ted. Uh, Yuri, Yuri's Ted. Yuri's Tim. So so Triforce is Ted from Brain Scratch. <laughs> if he's never encountered uh, a shiny, yeah, he's Ted. I- I'd believe it. Actually, but I don't. But I don't want to hate Triforce. <laughs> The like, only what do thing you mean? Is, he doesn't like Ted at all. I absolutely oh. can't stand Ted. <laughs> oh. To the point that I'm no longer subscribed to Brain Scratch. The only real time I go, I'd go back to it is just like, oh hey, Persona Five, I can watch that. Ted's not a part of that. <laughs> yeah, they upload that uh, once on Saturday and once on Sunday, so. Pretty much any single when Platform Mania actually starts uploading, I'll be like, "Oh, I want to watch all the stuff and anything that Ted's in. I'm not gonna watch." <laughs> I hope he's not in Sonic Mania. He's not. I po- I popped in when Johnny and them were playing that, and it's Johnny, Gareth, and Ryan. Nice. And I think and Nathan. I think Nathan was also there with the co-host Nathan. With the co-host. <laughs> Welcome to the what are you Sonic stupid? Hacking. Welcome to the Sonic <laughs> Hacking Contest. We play games, I think. Gear of well, what makes favorite. you not like Ted? Ted is the kind of person who actively goes out of his way to piss off fans of Generation 4 because he hates Generation 4. He's toned down from that a lot. Like, he barely mentions it at all anymore. If ever. Hmm... Mm. So oh, keep in mind, I started with Gen 4. Also, so there was the whole pig <laughs> fiasco. Yeah, where I lost all of, all respect for him because he constantly ranted about Pikmin 2 being a horrible game because it was different and claimed that the game was making him lose even though he specifically mentioned he was being stupid and not playing the game the right way because he was an idiot. Good grief. Yeah, that's part of the reason why I also stopped watching Game Grumps. It's just the whole... I can understand, like, paying more attention to something else and not, like, fully paying attention to the game and not knowing what to do. But at the point where you go... Especially Aaron, who at the longest time just goes, I can play games without, like, the game constantly telling me where to go. I don't need the game telling me where to constantly go. Where the hell do I go? <laughs> where do I go? <laughs> this is why the best part of Game Grumps is Steam Train. Because Aaron's not on that. Sometimes. Sometimes. 
Who was this? I think the, the, the only time I went back to Game Grumps is when they played um, Breath of the Wild, because I needed to hear what Aaron thought of that game. What do you think of it? Now, he did say... He I've never actually it. bothered watching Game Grumps. I've seen a few, like, clips here and there that friends showed me, and they're just not my thing. He, he did say it's better than A Link to the Past, so thank God something finally beat it in that finally, thick head of his. something broke his thick skull. Meanwhile, I put I put a link to the past on my PSP, so I'm gonna try and play that at some point. Finally, figure out what in God's name the hubbub's all been about. A link to the past is the one with the has the line. It's a secret to everybody. No, that's no, the original no, Zelda. Secret to everybody no, started with no, the first. That's game. in every yeah, Zelda game, that's, Jacob. It's uh, in Ocarina just, of Time as just, well. That's just oh. a recurring like line. Allow me to yeah. walk into a wall right. now because I'm dumb. Damn it, Dumas. What am I gonna do with you? <laughs> I'm gonna get some water. My throat's feeling kind of dry. You do that. Okay, this is going too slow. Speed up button. I'm back. I have my water now. Okay. I've, t I've authorized the use of the speed up button because I'm getting bored trying to figure out which of these locks I'm supposed to use. You want me to just look it up? Yeah, here we go. Fabulous. No, you, actually, you already figured out. Oh, Marcargo. Fine. And now you're just speeding through this battle. Sorry, Marcargo. Laffy. Again, I, for some reason, I don't have screen share. I don't know why. Drop out of the call and drop back in. Alright. Drop in, drop out, co op. Dun dun dun. Oh yep, there we go. Boom. Alright. Like uh made it. Yeah, what could you say like he's how I've learned a good chunk of Dragon Quest stuff aside from chatting with you, Yuri. Cause uh like he did because like him and Catherine talked about Dragon Quest a lot during like their Hyrule Warriors grind fest. Who said something about like um, Sonic Mania? I said, when are we doing that Sonic Mania race? <laughs> I mean, once we have the ability to probably after the Steam version comes out. <laughs> once everyone has the ability to record it. And if all goes according to plan, I'll be recording it off my Switch. All right, first, when are we doing that Sonic CD race? Uh, uh, we need to, th uh, we need to plan that. I also need to get Sonic CD on Steam at some point, no. too. I mean, you don't have to. Well, it, well, well, I don't know how well a Sega CD emulator would work with my laptop. Granted, granted it probably would work fine, it's just a case of, like, better safe than sorry is, for, is my mentality. Please don't play the Sega CD version <laughs> of Sonic CD. Yeah, don't. Yeah. <laughs> Turn to the TV for a moment, watch his Majin Buu headbutt a roller coaster off the tracks. <laughs> Is MGM watching Dragon Ball again? Mr. Han's watching, just turned on Super. Oh boy. Uh, I would love to see somebody with a vague understanding of Dragon Ball accidentally watch an episode of Super out of context. I mean, I, I, <laughs> that that, that's me beautiful. actually. I, I'm, I only vaguely know Dragon Ball, so if I were to do that, you'd probably get that. I would Same. laugh so hard. I, I could not even imagine the look on somebody's face where they would just see Hercule punching out Goku, him falling behind a crowd, and then lifting a tractor up behind a building with him. I just like, ah, okay, I forgot what tractor! Good to, know, good to know what to record then. <laughs> I'm gonna record my reaction to a random ass episode of Dragon Ball Super for no fucking reason. A moonstone. I can't carry any more items. Damn it. Moonstone. Hey, we can evolve the Clefairy oh, we don't like have. From I mean, that, we so, have a need. Yeah. Oh, I know the need arena died. It's like we that died like like sessions ago. So <laughs> if I if I remember correctly, that was the part where we lost like four Pokemon due to bad luck in like thirty minutes. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I was like, me and Jacob were talking about Final Fantasy. We stopped for five seconds, and he said, "So we lost like four Pokemon." I was like, "What? What are you doing? <laughs> How?" 
Ow! Also, something that bothers me, I'm still annoyed that you can't, that you don't have both the option to level up Eevee to evolve in day or night, or use a Moonstone or Sunstone. That doesn't make any sense to me. Like, why can't you use the Moon or Sunstone? Yeah. I mean, Colosseum and XD Gale of Darkness had a workaround for this. The Sun Shard and the Moon Shard. <laughs> I really liked XD's whole way of dealing with that. Yep. And this is why Ore needs to make a return. Wait, this guy has a Houndoom. Oh. Oh, uh, completely non threatening at level 23. <laughs> I keep forgetting this is the Rocket team. They all have very low levels. Dude, we're just speeding through all this because it's Team Rocket and, well, fighting the same grunts over and over again. No gets one cares. <coughs> hey, look, it's Pupitar's back. <coughs> I've never seen that before. That's completely new. Oh, we're done. Oh, I killed him.